Added my internship is a year-long placement in Airbus. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Saga and I'm an aerospace engineering graduate from the University of Sheffield. And now I study, well no, I don't study. I work as a software engineer in London. And here is Kevin. Kevin is one of my friends from university. Kevin, introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Kevin. Uh, just like Sagar, I'm also an aerospace engineering graduate from Sheffield and I currently work as a software quality analyst in London. Okay, so my viewers know where I'm from, but Kevin, tell us a bit about yourself. Where are you from and also why did you choose to study at Sheffield? Cool, yeah, so I come from Indonesia, so I grew up in Jakarta, that's the capital of Indonesia, and I moved to the UK uh, for, for university about five years or six years ago. Uh, the reason why I choose Sheffield is because first, it's, it's, it has like a good reputation for aerospace engineering. Secondly, it's got good uh, extracurricular, like you probably know from Sagar that um, we were both in uh, Project Sunbite as well. And lastly, it's because uh, Sheffield offers a PPL, which is a private pilot license for uh, their aerospace engineering student, which is really interesting. So whilst Kevin was at university, he actually did such a really cool internship. And Kevin, tell us about your internship. Where did you do it and why did you choose that place? Sure. So um, I did my internship. It's a year long placement in Airbus. So you probably know Airbus is a probably the biggest airline uh, aircraft manufacturer now. Uh, why I choose Airbus? Just because first it's the biggest. It gives you a hands-on experience, um, give you the exposure of um, the global aerospace company and how they operate. So Kevin, doing an internship at Airbus must be pretty cool. So what was your most favorite thing about working at Airbus? Yeah. So my favorite thing is just to be close with the plane, really, and. Probably that the same thing with all aerospace engineers or all uh, most aerospace engineering students is because we love planes. So yeah. I think it's quite cool and I definitely enjoy working close to the plane, working on the plane. Yeah, I agree so too. It's funny because myself and Kevin actually went to go plane spotting at Heathrow the other week. So as you can tell, if you've done aerospace engineering, you probably like planes quite a bit. So as you all know, working somewhere is not necessarily always, you know, sunshine and rainbow. So what is your like least favorite part of working at Airbus? Yeah, so uh, I work in the manufacturing plant, manufacturing facility. And as you probably can guess, that is a massive one. And to have like a massive facility, it's usually quite remote here in the UK. Mm -hmm. So that's that's really the least favorite bit of working there is just to commute every day. Um, I don't drive, I don't have a car, <laughs> so I use buses. But uh, buses in the UK sometimes can be unreliable. Mm -hmm. So it is what it is. That's just something that you need to deal with. So a lot of you guys watching are probably wondering, Kevin, how did you actually manage to land an internship with Airbus? So tell us a bit about like the recruitment process. Yeah, so you apply online in their website, in their career website, and then uh, you'll be invited to an online assessment. So this, at my time, it was like a, a game assessment. So it assess yeah. your character and assess your mm. personality, really. And then after that, if you pass that stage, they'll contact you for an on-site interview. So it was um, probably an hour or so interview with two other um, quality engineers because I applied for quality engineering at that time. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Then if you pass the stage, you got an offer. Cool. There you go. So I guess the the advice is make sure you just apply and you know see how far you get. So I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know any specific advice of how to get an internship, whether it's at Airbus or any other aerospace related company. So Kevin, do you have any advice for my viewers? Yeah, um, getting a placement or getting an internship is not easy. It's really tough. So it requires you to. So my first advice is just like keep applying because it's really hard to get one and you probably won't get it in your first try anyway. Yeah. And then the second one is just keep practicing, practicing for the online assessment. There are a lot of like online resources in the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, also practicing for the interviews really, um, practice about like just typical uh, hiring interview questions really like why yeah. do you want to work here, what is your strength, all, all etc. But also yeah, so just keep applying and keep practicing really. Okay, so Kevin, you mentioned at the beginning of the video that you no longer work in the aerospace industry because you work as a quality analyst at ThoughtWork. Mm. Um, so why did you decide to move away from aerospace? Uh, the main reason is location, I will say, because like as I said earlier, like, I don't really like working in um, quite a remote area where you've got like bus once every like 20 minutes. Mm. 
and yeah that, that's the first reason um, and the second one with uh, software right you can basically you can work anywhere really that's true you can work from home you can work from if I want to like it depends on the companies but like in my current companies I'm allowed to to, to go and work from where I'm from hmm. for um, a dedicated amount of time so Kevin do you have any final advice or final pieces of advice to engineering students that are studying both in the UK or anywhere else in the world? Well, my advice would be just like, keep pushing. Cause like, as you probably know already, engineering is hard, it's not easy. It requires a lot of dedication, it requires a lot of passion, and it requires a lot of um, sleepless nights really to do all your assignment and study. So just keep pushing. Uh, yeah, and you'll be there. So if any of you guys actually wants to reach out to Kevin and maybe ask him questions about his time at Airbus or his transition into tech, or even his specific role about quality analyst, then I've put his LinkedIn sort of profile and link at the bottom. So definitely connect with him and Kevin will happily, you know, answer any questions you have. Sure. So thanks for watching guys and see you in another video. Ciao.